Greetings. My name is Scott, and today I wanted to do a quick little demonstration about compact flash memory cards. I have two memory cards here. Uh, one is a brand new card that I purchased online from Hoodman, and it is a 1000X steel compact flash, and the other one is a Kingston 133X. Now, the interesting thing about the uh, the number that you see here, the 133X, is that that's derived from the old way of doing it with uh, CD-ROM technology. They would say uh, it was, I think it was, uh, oh, jeez, I forgot. Now, that's my daughter. So the difference is that the the X is multiplication, right? And 133x means 133 times 150 kilobytes per second. And this harkens this harkens back to the days of your of yesteryear when CD-ROMs. Are you having trouble getting going? Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you a little push. Yeah. Here you go. There you go. Uh, where was I? Oh, to the days of yesteryear. Uh, days of yore, of lore, when CD-ROM speeds were the, uh, the the factor, the deciding factor of what was fast and what wasn't. And they would talk about CD-ROMs as being like 1x, 4x, 8x uh, speeds. And now we ha we're up to, uh, we have 130, like I said, I have 133x and I have a 1000x. But what does that really mean in terms of like performance on a camera. Well, a camera, the, the the sensor that's on the camera, the the thing that's actually capturing the image, connects to directly to a a buffer. Uh, call it similar to RAM, okay? And as pictures are taken, they load into the buffer, and uh, they'll they'll the, the the speed at which the speed at which the camera can push images into the buffer, I want to say it's roughly, uh, you know, I can do, this particular camera, I can do about 12 frames per second, and the camera that I'm using is a, it's a, it's a Canon one EOS 1DX, and it does uh, 12 frames per second raw, which is a, they're usually about 12 megabytes, so we're looking at roughly, we can load at a, about, you know, conceivably we can load into the buffer at uh, probably 150 megabytes per second at the most, maybe. So the problem with the 133X, it's not nearly, uh, it's not nearly 150 megabytes per second. It's a lot less than that. And so when the camera tries to push images from the buffer down to disk, it slows down. And that's bad because you could be taking pictures and the camera will stop. And I'm gonna show I'm gonna show that to you. So let's take a look at the back of the camera here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, the four gigabyte Kingston card and I'm gonna put it into Oh, the, the Canon 1DX has uh, two slots, one and two, slot one and two, and I'm going to go ahead and slide the uh, the Kingston into slot one. Yeah, there's lots of leaves, aren't there? And then I'm going to uh, take the uh, Portman, which you can get at... Ooh, we have a lot of trouble focusing today, don't we? And you can get that compact flash card from, I'm sorry, Hoodman, not Portman, uh, Hoodman.com or HoodmanUSA.com. And uh, they are very good about uh, pricing. It's not bad at all. And I've used some of their other cards in the past, and I just picked up two of these. So here we go. And we're going to turn the camera to the O on position and wait for the sensor cleaning. And let's take a look and see what we're looking at through the... 
Oh, let's, let's try to take a picture of something a little bit more interesting. All right, hang on a second. All right, there we go. That's the neighbor's house across the street. And all right, so now we're just going to just uh, make sure that we've cleared all the images off the off the camera and to do that I've hit the menu button it's already set up and all images on card okay and let's check and see which card we're using to change cards you just push this button here and then you use the selector knob on the front of the camera up here this knob right this, this dial right here uh, and that will select me that will select me between the two different. Now let's just start with one. Uh, this is the this is the four gigabyte card. And it stopped. The buffer filled up, and the light is running. It's it's going, and this means that the buffer is loading to the card. That noise was the shutter, sweetie. It was took a whole bunch of pictures of you. Yeah, and the buffer's still loading, and it's been quite a while now. It's definitely been about uh, 15 seconds or so, and I could start shooting, but it would fill up rapidly. The buffer is still offloading to the disc here, and I think it should be about done, and should be just almost, there we go, it's, it's almost done. There it is, it's done. Okay, so now let's go ahead and see how many pictures we got there. Uh, hit the play button. And there we have, it's uh, 8074. 8074 and it bounces to 8027. 74. And, oh boy, the whole crowd's here. A group of Addies? Like you mean like adolescents? Mark wants to see my Okay. Okay, so I'm at the back of the camera and as you can see there are two slots for memory cards. Isn't that cool? Do you want to come see? It's pretty cool. So in the first slot, I've taken this King this this Kingston memory card, which is a 133x, and in the second slot, I've taken this card, which is a Hoodman Steel, and it's a thousand x, which means that it's a lot faster. It means they can receive data much more quickly than the other card can. And I'm you just use both of them when you're taking it. I, no, it only uses one or the other. I can switch between them, or when the one card fills up, then it can fail over to the other one, and it will start to fill up the second card. So what I'm trying to show here, if I turn the camera on, is that I can select between the two different cards. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to select the first card. And now, Addy, could you go and, and ride your scooter up and down the... Uh, and you can see what I'm seeing through here. Now what I'm doing is I'm shooting in raw mode, and I'm just going to start pulling the trigger. I'm going to I'm just going to hold the shutter down, and I'm gonna start until it stops. see it, it stalled, right? So it stalled because what's happening is that the buffer filled up, and it couldn't take any more images. No more images could load to the buffer. So now it's, it's it, it, while it's putting images into the buffer, it's also copying them down to the camera CF card. So that was the that was the 133x. So as you saw, and, and you see that the light here, this what this light means is that the buffer is still writing to disk. Mm -hmm. It's still going, and it it's going to take a minute. The neighbor's dog is barking, and you see it's still the light is still going. That means that the buffer is still dropping down to camera. 
to the to camera desk. Oh, it, it's got to be almost done, right? You're thinking, when is it going to be done? It's taking forever, right? Forever. Is your phone connected to the camera somehow? No, no. The, the phone is, uh, just, it, that's what I'm using to film the... Hi! How are you? How's Copper doing? Good. Yeah? Oh, there we go. It finished. It's, fi it's, fin it's finishing now. When the picture pops up, that usually means it's almost done. Alright, so it's done. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to flip over to the other one, to the other card. And, hey Ethan, you want to go ride your bicycle around to make this interesting? All right, here comes Addy, and I'm gonna I'm gonna pull I'm gonna pu put now I'm gonna pull the shutter, and we're gonna see what happens. See, it stalled a little bit. Did you hear that? So it stalled just a little bit. Now, look at the light, and five, four, three, two, one, bang! It's gone. How's that for fast? Very. That was much faster, wasn't it? That's way faster. Now watch this though. Let's switch back. To, let's switch back to the, the ones. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull the trigger. And I'm just gonna hold the. I'm holding the shutter down now, still. So I get about one shot off. Can you imagine how frustrating this would be? You're at like a sporting event. You're taking pictures, and then. Like, you can't take any more pictures, you're like, you, you just keep pushing, you keep pulling the shutter and nothing's happening, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Did you fall down, sweetie? All right, so, we're still waiting for the buffer. Uh, my wife is going to take care of the spill incident there. We'll come back and, and, and see that happen maybe in slow motion to the camera. I wasn't actually looking at what I was shooting there. Oh boy, another fun video, another fun video production. It's rude. It's the buffer's still going down on this one here. And, uh, oh boy. I love it when the whole family comes together for a video. It's fun. Are you okay, sweetie? Yeah. Okay. Watch out, there's cars. Oh boy, it's the buffer still downloading the card. There we go. All right, now I'm going to switch over to the other card. And And here we go. I'm just holding the button down. You can see that it's way faster if I, if I let go for a couple of seconds and then I can go again. Let go for a few seconds. Burst. Another burst. With camera pictures. And so the moral of the story here is that having good compact flash memory is good. Having bad compact flash memory cards like the ones that they sell retail like at Walmart or wherever those aren't good. Those aren't good at all. The best I could find was something like I think I could find uh, a 400X about, you know, best I could do when I went looking retail was about 40 megabytes per second. These cards do about 120 up and down writing and reading. Very nice. And it.